All right, Leo, so first card that flew out is truth. Second card we have is grief or grieving. Third card we have is friendship. And I'm going to clarify these cards, Leo. Okay, I'm going to clarify with the Light Seers. The Light Seers deck. Let me move this over. Okay, clarify truth, grieving, and friendship spirit for my Leo. We got the Seven of Swords reversed. We got the Eight of Swords reversed. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So Leo. Someone may have been exposed, right? And it's like you have seen this situation or this person or both for what it really is. So who, whatever was exposed with somebody, they kind of feel guilty about it because whatever they did to you, Leo, they definitely did not get away with it. Someone did not get away with deceiving you, Leo, after they have been exposed. I'm just getting this energy of karma. So justice may have been served with this person, Leo, where they have some form of a reality check when I look at truth, where this lady is looking in the mirror. Someone had a reality check, Leo, and they did not get away. And now this person is grieving. This is somebody that you may have a soul tie connection with, Leo. Um, but this person is definitely grieving the loss of you, Leo. You have broke free from this individual. But I am getting this energy where some of you guys, this person could be holding on to. I'm hearing people you may know. Like, maybe they could be friends with somebody that is close to you, Leo, like your sister, your cousin, your uncle, your brother. I don't know. Maybe you have, like, mutual friends with each other, Leo. Maybe your friends could be their friends also. But I am getting this energy where this person not only grieving the loss of you, but they see you as a friend. Somebody seeing you as a friend, Leo. Some of you guys, this could be a friend of yours that you had some type, like a tight bond with. But I feel like you no longer are friends with this person anymore. But they are definitely grieving the loss of you, whether this is a romantic connection or it can be a friendship connection, Leo. But I am seeing that somebody does want to take some form of accountability, Leo. But let's clarify and see what's going on. What else there in this situation that happened between Leo and this person? I just keep hearing reality checks. So this person has some form of a reality check, Leo, deceiving you. Whether they lied to you, manipulated you, maybe they stole something from you. Um, maybe they, I don't know, maybe they slept with your man or your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. I don't know. It could be anything. Maybe they lied on your name. Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they did something fraudulent where you, they put your name in it. I don't know. It can be anything, but somebody had a reality check, Leo. We got the Ten of Pentacles reversed, so it backfired with their family. So not only this deception that they have put onto you, Leo, I feel like it backfired within their family and their finances. Some of you guys, I'm hearing their children. Like, not only their finances, you know, not only their family, family, like their close relatives, but also their children. So it's telling me that your person may have lost out on some long-term stability, Leo, when they have, um, when you have left them. What else, Spirit? We got the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So it's telling me that, yes, your person took a big hit, a big loss in their family. Um, I'm hearing their family finances, Leo. And it's like, after you broke free from this situation, I feel like you have been carrying the, the weight on your shoulder for, you know, for a while, Leo, in regards of this person. So it's like, even though you walked away from this person, you still was like quite 
hurt by them, you know, burdened by them. You know, maybe you felt like it followed you. Some of you guys felt like the hurt, the pain that this person has put on you, Leo, of what they have done, it followed you. And when I say followed you, it's like you have find it very difficult to let it go. You see what I'm saying? So some of you guys just kept thinking about it over and over and over again about what somebody has done to you. And that situation has came to an end or it's getting ready to come to an end because you have something new coming in, Leo, whether this is new love or something that is in the form of like abundance, Leo. But it is telling me this is an ending to a stressful situation that you have been holding on to, Leo, and you finally get in the renewal of yourself. I feel like this could be a renewal of yourself. Some of y'all is new love, but I'm not picking up on that energy. That's why I ain't really like say that all like that but it's telling me that spirit is um bringing you like renewing your mind and maybe your heart especially if you were hurt about the situation because some of you guys obviously were um hurt about it and you find it very difficult to detach yourself from that pain from that loss that you took dealing with this person but it's telling me that spirit is renewing you in a way what else some of y'all, it's a friendship. The rest of you guys, it's a romantic situation that you may have been in when it comes to love. Now we got thoughts. So your person is definitely thinking about you, Leo. You have been heavily on this person's mind, Leo, and they heart. They, I'm hearing they, they thoughts. Like you always been in this person's head the whole entire time. And you know what's crazy? Because it's like, I wouldn't say the whole entire time. Some Mostly all it was, right? But it's telling me that they knew that once they hit rock bottom, they knew that it was because of you. I'm not saying that you did it. It's They know like it's because of how they did you, what they said to you, how they treated you, how they deceived you, Leo. That's what I'm picking up on when I see the Ten of Pentacles reverse and thoughts up under it. It's like they're thinking about what they have done, Leo, you know, to cause this form of karma. Okay, what else, Spirit? We need two cards, please. It stands out. Wow, I knew it. They thinking about what they have done to you, Leo. Some of you guys, your person was like playing a role with you. Some of y'all, this person had somebody else in the background. They had somebody else in the background. Y'all was dealing with somebody very deceptive. It's like they're thinking about how they did you, how, you know, fake they was, basically, with thoughts and false person. They're thinking about, it's crazy because they look at you as a beautiful person, but they turned around and deceived you. They turned around and deceived you, Leo. And I'm talking about beautiful, whether this is inside and out or whatever, that's how they're looking at it. Some of y'all, I'm, I'm hearing your person looked at you as like a good person. That's how they see you. One more card, Spirit, under, okay, wow, being deceptive, Leo, they have manifested poverty, we got po poverty right here, wow, they secretly going through some poverty right now, they are secretly going through a lot of hardships, Leo, maybe they could be feeling lost, where they at, some of you guys, your person, probably have somebody on their side also, Maybe they have a, another person that they was keeping away, like they was hiding from you, Leo, in the background. But whoever they holding on to is a false person also. So even though your person deceived you, the person that they also may have in the mix of y'all connection that they are holding on to, that is falling back on them. And I just said that, saying the same thing, but in a different way. It fell back on their family. That's who it is. It's their family. So they lost out on stability and their family lost out on, their, on stability. So some of you guys, your person could be homeless. Maybe they lost their home. So whoever they think that they fell back on, Leo, it bounced on to the person that they live with also, Leo. And now they could be, maybe they, like I said, they may have lost their home and lost their job. And now your person is like, Right next with the ne right next to the person that deceived you. I feel like your person and another person deceived you. I don't feel like it's it's just your person. If it's a it could be a lover, that situation, like I said, is falling apart. If it's not a lover, it could be somebody in a family. Some of y'all is both. 
Some of you guys, their family and a lover was caught in the mix of the situation. But just know that situation has backfired into their finances where they could be homeless. Like the person they chose over you, like they literally could be facing like a um eviction notice. I'm here. Somebody could be facing an eviction notice or maybe they are forced to move out of their house because um I'm here foreclosure or something like that. Maybe they couldn't pay their mortgage or it could be both. But I'm telling you, your person took a real, real loss, Leo, a huge loss. They had some form of reality check. I'm seeing that. And it fell back within the person they was holding on to and their family. That's crazy. Because you know what's crazy about the situation, Leo, is that your person knows why they why they are going through what they are going through. It's because of how they treated you. Because of what they have done to you. I'm not sure what they have done to you, but it's telling me that it fell back on their family in a living situation. Okay, what else? Clarify thoughts, false person, and poverty spirit. Dang, it flipped right back in there, but I see it. Wow, somebody's heartbroken. They thinking about how much they broke your heart. Some of y'all's person thinks that you still hurt and mad at them. Some of y'all may still be hurt and mad at them. They think that. They think you are still hurt about what they have done to you. But like I said, that situation may have already been put to an end. Because some of y'all find it, like you may have find it very difficult to let it go. That pain that this person put you in. You know, but they do think that you still like holding some form of resentment towards them, Leo. They is. Because of the deception, them and somebody else, maybe somebody ganged up on you and and, and argued with you or, fought, or or you fought somebody that they was with. I don't know. I'm getting something like that. You was arguing with somebody in their family, or it could just be that the person, the romantic love interest that you got into it with. But I'm just getting this ganged up energy, Leo, where they may have ganged up on you with somebody else that was very deceptive, Leo. Wow. And you know what's crazy about the situation? Even though your person broke your heart, they still do love you. They still like you. There's some feeling still there eventually, Leo. It's like they think about how they made you feel. But at the same time, it's like your person. Wow. So some of y'all, your person was putting up a front, Leo, holding on to another romantic love interest, right? Or it could be trying to impress their friends and their family members about you, right? And deep down inside, your person really did have feelings for you. So they played this role the whole entire time to impress another person. And I feel like it's a romantic it's a romantic interest or it could be, um, wow, some of y'all can be your own friend because I already said at the beginning, maybe your own friend chose a lover over you that didn't like you. For an example, maybe they love interest didn't like you. Maybe y'all was always arguing. Y'all always bumped heads. Or maybe you didn't like them because they waited, the way they treated them. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you tried to defend them because the way they treated your friend or the way they treated somebody close to you. You know, but I just felt like they chose, it still chose the deceptive person over you, Leo. If it, was, if it went down like that, because some of y'all, that is the case. Somebody, like you was on somebody's side, and they just chose that the deceptive person's side over yours, even though you were trying to defend them. Now, the rest of y'all, this is a love situation where they still, you know, put up a front like they didn't love you, but deep down inside, they did. They only to, did it to save face, to make themselves look good in front of the public, or to make themselves look good in front of the family, or make themselves look good in front of the love interest that they have. You see what I'm saying? It's, it could be one or two ways, but it is some type of like people pleasing going on. But I'm hearing that you really did like this person. You really did love this person. You really did have this person back. No matter who it is, you did have this person's back through thick and thin, Leo. And now they secretly got to suffer. Somebody is, is, so listen, this person has a, they, reality has struck their ass, whoever this is. Reality struck them twice, and I can't even say twice because it's hitting the family, it's hitting the person they chose over you, and it's hitting them. So reality struck their ass three times. 
Like, everybody around your person got to get it. That's exactly what I'm seeing. They didn't get away with it. We got the seven of swords reversed. That's why they feel so guilty. Because the way they treated you. Because it's like, even though you had this person's back, even though you had this person's side, you was on this person's side, or you were supporting them, it's like, they went against you like you wasn't nothing. Like, this person literally treated you like you, you meant nothing to them. And they still chose the deceptive side of the situation. Even though it, even though you had this person's best interest at heart, Leo. Even though you wanted the best for this person, whether it's a friend, a relative, or a lover. They still chose the deceptive people over you. But like I said, your person is having a reality check. They do think about you. They do, they do wonder if you still hurt or if you still mad at them. You know, because they do have, they still like you. They still got feelings for you, Leo. It doesn't matter who it is. This person still loves you. Friend, family, foe. I don't know. But somebody still love you, though. Even though they probably, like, chose somebody over you, they still do love you. But they under pressure right now because they're stuck in a situation with these deceptive people, you know, and they, they're going through some, um, some hardships. Come on, spirit. I need one card, please. We got hand of cards. Your person is like literally willing to take a risk. They are willing to take a chance. And you know what's wild about the situation? They love you more because you left. They know they have played with you. They know that they have they haven't showed no loyalty, Leo. Whoever this was definitely showed no loyalty. But they like you even more because they know that they have did this to you. But you also walked away. They know they gambled with your heart. But they like you even more because you walk away. You took that risk. You took that chance. And you walked away because they showed they ass. They showed you that they wasn't about that. They, they showed you that they wasn't loyal to you. That's crazy. That's messed up. But I'm telling you, your person is, is going through some form of a reality, a reality um, check, Leo. Let me pull some of these with the vibe cards. I just keep hearing back to reality, back to reality, onto their family, onto them and the person that they chose over you. I'm here Eminem back to reality. We got, wow, this looks like Eminem with this hoodie on. But somebody gave up. You gave up. I feel like the situation caused you to be very depressed. Maybe you feel like you took a loss dealing with this person, Leo. Some of y'all definitely did take took a huge loss. Or this could be them. They just hope and pray that they didn't lose you, Leo. Because they're thinking about somebody have like, have given up. I feel like this is you. You gave up for real. You have gave up on this person. Like I said, there has been an ending to a stressful, situ a burning situation. And spirit has renewed your heart and your life. Some of y'all were struggling for a little bit too after you walked away. But 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 you have took chances, Leo, and and, and 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 you didn't give up on yourself. You didn't. You kept it going. But it's telling me your person is getting ready to come back with some form of apology, Leo. Even though you gave up on this person and, and gave and took that L and let these people go, your person is still coming back. This person is very depressed. Some of y'all don't even want the apology. Some of y'all don't even want to hear what they got to say when they come back. Some of y'all, this energy has already passed where they already tried to come back. But you rejected whatever they had to say. Maybe you feel like whatever they had to say wasn't sincere. You felt like it wasn't real. Now, I'm also getting this energy where... Even if they all did come back before a while ago and you rejected them, this person still 
talking to other people about whether they should come back or not. Because they do want to offer you some form of apology. But it's telling me that the minute you gave up on this person, things start to happen real fast in their life, Leo. Some of y'all may have heard that this person could be suffering in silence. Some of you guys could end up hearing that this person is suffering in silence, Leo. I just keep hearing F you in your apology. Maybe they could come back to try and explain themselves with some of y'all. Or they did come back already to explain themselves. Okay, what else? I'm seeing two different energies. They either came back again or they could be in the background, you know, trying to figure out how can they come back asking other people about you. Wow. So it's telling me y'all gave up on this person because it was the devil. It was toxic. And you know, it was wild. Your person is afraid of you giving up on them. That's what they don't want to happen. Even though you've been gave up on them a while ago, they don't want you to like literally leave this person. They don't want you to live, like to leave them behind completely, Leo. They still holding on to you. Even though you gave up, they have a strong desire to come back and make it right with you, Leo. Wow, Ten of Pentacles reversed again. But it's telling me if you accept this apology, this is going to happen. It's going, it's going to have some form of effect on you. Because it already affected them and their family, Leo, with the Ten of Pentacles over here. You take this person's apology because it's not sincere. It's going to have some form of effect on you in your life, in your family. Because in reality, they're just telling you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. And maybe if this energy has already passed... That's exactly what happened. Maybe they reached out to you and they just you felt like they were just telling you what you what they what you wanted to hear, basically. But I feel like they only holding on for dear life because they lost out on their finances. That's the only reason why they holding on. Because they struggling right now. They family struggling. They struggling financially. Wow. But you don't love them no more. You don't love them no more. You're leaving this person behind because I just feel like y'all realize that this person really didn't love you. Some of y'all going to find out that this person did like walk away from somebody. Or you're going to find out that something came crumbling down in their life. I just keep hearing that. Some of y'all's person coming back to apologize for whatever it is that that you lost dealing with this person. Maybe you had some property with this person. Maybe you had some real estate with this person or a family or maybe they, some of y'all's person probably caused you to lose your job. Maybe they caused you to lose your house at one point in time or you just felt like you sacrificed it a lot. I just kept hearing that since the beginning. Some of y'all have sacrificed a lot with this person and, and like and I'm hearing investments. Like you have sacrificed a lot of money dealing with this person. And it's like, for you to sacrifice that and get treated like that, that really did, it hurt you. It hurt your finances. It hurt your stability at one point in time. It maybe even hurt you mentally and emotionally. But I just feel like you're walking away from this situation because you don't look at this person as long term. You don't see a future with them. And you know that this person don't love you. Some of y'all was dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini. Don't have to be. I'm seeing air and earth. It can be one of those signs, not one of those signs, but it can be an earth sign or air sign for some of you guys. But it's sad, but they had a reality check and it backfired within them, their family and the person that they left you for. Look, at this point, it's out of their control. It's out of your control. This person is pissed off, to be honest, because you have rejected them. I don't even feel like some of y'all's person even come forward yet. They haven't. That's crazy. They just in the background mad because you left them fast. But you left because of this. 
This is how they made you feel. Ten of Wands. Didn't I say that at the beginning? Ten of Wands. They made you feel like you was a problem. They made you feel unwelcome. They made you feel like shit, to be honest. And I just picked up on this energy earlier. Like, this person made you feel this way, Leo. They made you feel like whatever you had to say, it just wasn't worth saying it. Like, you defended this person, you supported this person through thick and thin, and they turned around and went against you and stayed and, and, and decided to pick somebody that was very deceptive over you, Leo. And now look what happened. Now this deception got their ass and, and struggling and poverty and shit. Because they played their cards wrong. Playing too many games with your heart. All they can do is sit there and talk about you to other people. All they can do is sit there. You know, they really asking other people about you because you walked away. They telling people that you left them. And it could be true. But at the end of the day, you had your reasons. You're not about to stick around and just to be ganged up on. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all... You just decided to not stick around because this person wasn't against you. They, I mean, they wasn't with you. You was on their side. They was against you. But just know, spirit woke their ass up back to reality. Back to reality. Up oh, there goes gravity. That's exactly what I heard. <laughs> back to reality. Up oh, there goes gravity. Like, yo, listen, they, they, spirit hit them hard, Leo. It affected them and their family. It's sad. Because like I said, you was there for this person. Some of y'all literally was supporting this person. And they was acting like they didn't see it. They was acting like they wasn't on your side, Leo. Some of y'all focusing on y'all work right now. Some of y'all could work from home. Or you could have your own business. Maybe you work online, Leo. Okay, let's pull the love oracle. I can't do this right now. So yes, I feel like a lot of y'all are done. Ever since you realized this person really didn't love you or care about you the same way that you love and care about them, you have just been making yourself a priority, Leah. Focusing on your work or just being at home. Some of you guys like to sew. Maybe you decorate for a living. It could be anything. You don't have to be clothes. It could be clothes. It could be blankets. It could be pillows. It can be maybe you a fashion designer or you a designer. Maybe you decorate houses for a living. Or like I said, you can have your own clothing line. You can have your own business. I don't know. You do something with your hands. But I just felt like you just don't want nothing to do with them at this point. A lot of y'all are just fed up. You're done with this person. It is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Leo. I hope it resonates with you guys, and y'all take care.